hello hey guys so welcome back to my channel so today what I'm going to do is I'll be cooking a rabbit stew for you guys I'm going to show you exactly how I do that so now I am firstly cleaning the rabbit well taking out the organs because it came pretty clean so I'm going to start by cutting the limbs off so I'm cutting the thighs off right there Yeah, so it looks like a nice chicken leg. <laughs> so I'm cutting off the other tie right now. Um, then next, I'll be moving on to um, taking off the arms. So, <laughs> as you can see, there's a little flap right underneath the rabbit right here. Yeah, so that's where I'm going to be just slicing through. There's no like bone or very strong connecting tissue, so it's very easy to get off when you just cut straight through the flap that is right there. Alright, so now I'm just going to cut it into some bigger sections. You just want to find a joint in the backbone, and then you just cut from there, and then it won't be that hard. You won't need a chopper or so to really um, get it through right so I called my mom and told her you know hey I'm cooking a rabbit you know what the lady said to me mine my catch corona crazy right so now I'm washing the meat um, I'm just washing it with some water and you know as a Jamaican we don't just wash meat with water we wash meat with that vinegar as well so I'm going to be adding some vinegar right there um just a gentle amount and you know I'm just going to wash my meat so now that my meat is washed and clean I'm going to prep it with some seasoning I have some skelly on there some all-purpose season black pepper meat season chicken season and some mushrooms Right, so I've never had mushrooms before, but I decided that I'm going to try them today. Um, I saw the recipe online that had mushrooms, so I decided that I'm going to try it. And that there was just some red pepper. I have some mixed seasoning in that. Um, I just put them in my bullet and blended them. So although it says fish seasoning, fish seasoning, it's not fish seasoning. It's just like scallion, onion, thyme, the, um, pepper, a lot of things, tomatoes blended um, in my bullet and I have some pepper there I cut up half of an onion some sweet pepper and garlic so I just put everything together I lost that footage for some reason I don't know how right but anyways I what I did was I floured them after seasoning them and just put them in the pot for about five minutes or so on each side to get them really brown the chicken stock right there is what I'm going to be using I'm going to show you that guys that a little bit on um, later on so now what I just added was I added this the what you call that the garlic um, some carrots that I cut up and some sweet potatoes so that's the meat that I browned it you know and now I'm just adding all of them. I let the carrot and the sweet potato stay in the pot for about, you know, five minutes just to brown. And, you know, now I'm just kind of mixing everything together, you know, so you can see all the different pieces. Basically. Right, I'm not going to add that extra seasoning that you see in the plate until like the end of the video. So now what I'm using right there is that my kitchen basic chicken stock and I'm just adding all of that to the um, pot. I'm going to, yeah, the size of that is 907 grams, so that's a big full size bottle. Um, I'm just going to, you know, put them down. 
Yeah, so now we're back. It's been two hours. I added the mushrooms. And look at that. Fall off the bone. Perfect. Perfection right there with the rabbit. Really, really great. Um, right now, right there, you just see me going through and just really examining and showing you guys. Look at that. Look at that. Everything has fallen off the bone. Yeah, so I have some rice that I'm going to be having with that. <laughs> so I plated the plate right there. Listen, I didn't go to school for cooking, so I don't know how to plate food properly. I just try a thing right here. Right, so now I'm going to do a little taste test. Um on, on top of the rice, is that the mushrooms? So and I'm just gonna do a taste test and see what it tastes like. Yeah, as you can see, it's falling right off the bone. Yeah, yeah. So it is really good. What happened is I lost the footage. Well, not the footage, the sound. But it was it's it was very good. I really enjoyed it. Um, it was full of flavor, you can taste the garlic in it, it was not dry, it was very moist. I just like, was really, at that time, I was just really hyping up myself saying how much of a good job I did. So right now, I'm tasting the mushrooms. So what the mushrooms taste like is, if you've ever had chicken liver, that's the consistency of the mushroom. How chewy the chicken liver is, that's how it tastes. Not liver, my gosh, kidney, not chicken liver, right? Chicken kidney. Um, yeah, so that was actually very good as well. The flavor that it has is just, it's just like most vegetables, I like to say. It doesn't have much of a bursting of flavor, but it absorbs whatever, you know, is it, it is cooked with. And it was very good right there. I'm going, I did a video on me making that June from juice, so that's what I'm testing right there and it's very refreshing. So alright guys, thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Um, if you've never tried rabbit before, I hope you get to try it sometime. It's very good. So that's it. Check out my next video.